White flag is raised and it is a false start. All being recalled. Short run to the first of 17 fences, and it's Dunvegan, the early leader, out over the first they go. And they've all cleared it safely. They've two circuits in front of them, and the Goffs Ireland sponsored Thayeste is this year behind closed doors. It's Dunvegan, Brahma Bull, and Nacapella Bourgeois. Improving in between horses, being followed on settling down by any second now in Spyglass Hill. And then comes 10-10 and Cabaret Queen as they go into the bend, bringing them into the back straight. Good run to the second fence, and it's the top weight a cappella bourgeois in last year's winning colours who picks it up from Don Vegan, Cabaret Queen, Brahma Ball. And he's second now in the white cap, being followed by Spyglass Hill, and then 10-10, being followed by Coco Beach as they go up the back straight to Fence number two, smoking gun not far behind them with next in the field, Run Wild Fred. They're at the second fence, a cappella bourgeois over from, and discordantly has dislodged Robbie Parr down the line. As they go uphill towards the third, which is the first of four ditches, and attempting to Get to his feet is Robbie, the jockey of Discordantly. Slow jump there by Roaring Bull in the yellow cap as they continue their journey up the far side of the track. And it's a cappella bourgeois, kept right out. Spite Last Hill has gone up to dispute the lead, being followed by Coco Beach, Don Vegan, 10 10, any second now, and Smoking Gun and Brahma Bull. They're being followed by 2A Permi and Run Wild Fred. And next on the inside is Speakeasy. As they jump the next fence at the far end of the back straight, which was fence number five, they're turning to the sixth. And it's Spite Last Hill, who's now sharing the lead with a cappella bourgeois being followed by Dun Vegan and Coco Beach, Brahma Bull, Smoking Gun, any second now. 10 10 is next, and these are being followed by Run Wild Fred and 2A Permi and Saturna, and then Cabaret Queen and Speakeasy. And Alpha de Zobo made a slight mistake on the inside of last year's runner up class, Conti. And then Roaring Bull, and at the back of the field is Mortal. Good run on the level before they'll encounter the first of their three fences in the straight. And it is a cappella bourgeois swapping a place with Spike Last Hill being followed by Coco Beach, who's moved into third place, the blue cap. Brahma Bull next with Don Vegan and Smoking Gun and any second now being followed by 1010 and Saturna and Run Wild Fred. And then comes to a Permi Speakeasy, Roaring Bull and Class Conti Cabaret Queen. And they're followed by Alpha de Zobo and a bit of a break back to Mortal. Setting their sights on the first of three fences in the straight. This is number seven. And it is on the right, a cappella bourgeois, the red and white. On the left, the spite last hill being followed by Dun Vegan Coco Beach down the center. And then comes Brahma Bull as they jump the next of the ditches. Spite last hill and a cappella bourgeois coming to the fence at their point of departure. And the last one next time in the Goffs Thayestes. And into this one, it's Spite Last Hill, who's moved on and was caught unawares there by the riderless Discordantly, who came right across in front of Spite Last Hill. Coco Beach has moved into second, but only just from a cappella bourgeois. And then done vegan smoking gun and Brahma Bull. As they've a circuit to go, they're past the halfway stage. They've eight fences left to jump. Spite Last Hill and Rachel Blackmore show in front of Coco Beach, Jack Kennedy on the outside, Acapella Bourgeois and Paul Town and running the rail is Dun Vegan and Brian Cooper. Smoking Gun and Sean O'Keefe come next and then Brahma Bull being followed by 1010 Speakeasy and Run Wild Fred with 2A Permi Saturna any second now has lost his pitch then Class Conti and Cabaret Queen, Alpha de Zobo and Mortal at the back of the field. 
Going now to the first of the fences up the far side, eight left to jump, Spyglass Hill, over well, from Dunvegan who landed second, and third is Coco Beach, then Acapella Bourgeois, followed by Smoking Gun and 10-10, Class Conti makes a forward move, Speakeasy's on the inside, being followed by Blama Bull out wide, with Run Wild Fred and Saturna, as they jump the second last ditch. Heading to the final seven furlongs and the next fence up the back, Spyglass Hill, right out by the hedges, comes to the next. It's Spyglass Hill, up and over from Don Vegan, Coco Beach, right with them in third, and then Acapella Bourgeois, Saturna, and 10 10 to start cap, Smoking Gun, Class Conti, Brahma Ball, followed by Run Wild Fred, and then 2 A Permi, Speakeasy, any second now, Cabaret Queen, Mortal Roaring Ball, and Alpha de Zobo as they leave that fence behind them. They've another four to jump, and it's Spyglass Hill from a closing Don Vegan. Another great close up and third is Coco Beach, then Class Conti, who's continuing to close through the field with Acapella Bourgeois and Saturn and 10 10 being followed by Run Wild Fred. At the fourth fence from the finish, Spite Last Hill got in close and is joined by Coco Beach. Brahma Bull made a mistake. Don Vegan there on the inside. Run Wild Fred gets into it with Acapella Bourgeois and Class Conti and Saturn and Smoking Gun and 10 10 is driven along. Speak Easy is trying to get into it and then Cabaret Queen. The lead are beginning to tighten up. They're half a mile from the finish. They've three to jump. Spite Last Hill, tracked by Coco Beach, Don Vegan, Acapella Bourgeois, Saturna. Class Conti is continuing to close, then Run Wild Fred being followed by Speakeasy and Cabaret Queen. End of the straight with three fences left to jump in the Goffs Tiestes of 2021. It's Spite Last Hill, joined by Coco Beach, the grey, then Class Conti, the different green colours making ground with Saturna, and then Run Wild Fred, Acapella Bourgeois drop back. They're coming down towards the second last and Coco Beach assumes command. Under Jack Kennedy and they've raced on. Coming to the second last, chased by Saturna, Class Conti, Run Wild Fred and Spite Last Hill is weakened, but it's Coco Beach in front with one fence to go and the Goffs tie days. It's Coco Beach over the last fluid from Class Conti and Run Wild Fred racing into the closing stages and it's Coco Beach in the lead from Class Conti, Run Wild while Fred is staying on, but it's a win in the Goffs Tie Estes for Coco Beach, Jack Kennedy, Gordon Elliott, and Jigginstown. A result and a half. Run wild Fred second, Class Conti in third, and then Saturna, Acapella Bourgeois, Spyglass Hill, Speakeasy, and Cabaret Queen, the only other finisher as the balance left have pulled up. Yes, what a result for Gordon Elliott and Jigginstown House Stud. The 1 2, Coco Beach at 8 1. Jack Kennedy in the plate wins the Goffs de Estes handicap chase. And a great way to break your duck over fences in a 100 grand handicap. Beat. Good hurdler rated slightly higher over hurdles than over fences. And racing off a mark of 138 today. Yeah, it's just a, a, a mark that was potentially well within his compass. And Coco Beach, who was a good hurdler, very smart juvenile hurdler. And. It's taken a while to get his head in front over fences, beaten favourite at Ferry House last time when he got mugged by Forza Milan in a pretty dramatic race. Has picked a good day to get off the mark in this discipline. Connections won it with a novice a few years back in Monbeg Notorious, who landed a bit of a punt that year. Jack Kennedy did the steering that day as well. Three years ago that was now. And Coco Beach adds his name to an illustrious role of honour that includes giants of yesteryear like the Great Arkle and Flying Bolt. And one would imagine on races like the Irish National will be firmly on his radar now. Uh, has he qualified for the National Hunt Chase at Cheltenham? Uh, yeah. I, I, well, yeah, that's now you have to win over three miles, don't you? So he's done that now today. Um, be an option too. Yeah. Or, or the the ultimate chase, the handicap chase at the Chatham Festival. It depends what the, what the handicapper does to him now, but he's got Chatham Festival form, so if he does take his chance in a Chatham Festival contest, he'd be of automatic interest. And Jack Kennedy, cool as you like, as we've seen so many times throughout the season. He's been very unlucky with injuries, has Jack, but when he's on a horse, he's very, very good indeed. And 
no surprise to see he's got these opportunities at such a young age. He's a top class and he wins the Goffs Diestes at eight to one for Gordon Elliott on Coco Beach. Second run wild Fred, 15 to two. Third class Conti, good run again from him, 11 to one. Fourth Saturnus, 33 to one. So now, Jack, congratulations. Your second win in the race after Monbeg Notorious back in 2018. Just tell us how good it was that a performance today by a novice. Yeah, it was, it was brilliant. Um, Gordon was sort of fairly hopeful that he'd, he'd run a big race, so uh, he um, he gave me a little push to go to go with him. So I, I'm delighted I listened anyway. But uh, no, it was brilliant, and the, the the blinkers made a massive difference as well. It looked that way because he travelled so sweetly all the way, didn't he? Had he had he worked in the blinkers at home or had been tried in them? No, that that was the first time. First time. Uh, so no, like he's he's probably been been going around in small fields and in, in beginners chases and that, and probably lacking a little bit of con concentration. But the the big field today and the, and the blinkers sharpened them up an awful lot. He jumped and travelled a lot better. Yeah. And jumping obviously for a novice is key in a race like this. Stepping in against much more experienced horses. Had you any fears on that score with him? No, he's always been a very good jumper. Even from when he was running in juvenile hurdles, he was always a. Uh, a very natural jumper and was always going to be a chaser as well so um i wasn't worried about uh, about it being his first handicap or anything any or is it his jumping at all that was always going to be okay yeah. jack just take us back to the start if you will because it's a very short run to the first fence of the fiestas everybody wants to get their position did you get away pretty much where you wanted to second no time not not at all um uh just when the tape was left go he had a little bit of a look at it and and um I didn't have have any position really going down to the down to the force, but luckily he jumped it very well and landed me in a in a nice position then and he travelled great from there to, to get into even better positions. So um no, it was it was great. Terrific race to win and I guess time will tell whether he can go on from a moment notorious never really got much better for him did it after winning this race but you'd like to think this fella could maybe go for something like an Irish national or a national at some stage. Yeah, exactly, you know. Um that that was Mom Big Notorious's day, but um, I, I'd be fairly hopeful that this lad can can go on and maybe maybe win a couple of more nice pots. Terrific, and a great result for the stable as well. Did you know Run Wild Fred had chased you home? Uh, no, not until we pulled up. But um, I was thinking as well he could he was going to be one that could run a big race as well, and he had two pounds less than Coco Beach, so I was wondering whether I was on the right <laughs> one, but. Uh, uh, they weren't too far away from each other anyway. No, no, it worked out very well. Well, Jack, great result for all concerned. Thanks for joining us. Well done again. Thanks very much, Cheers. Gary. Thanks.